Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill. And on this channel, we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty, and beauty standards. We also talk about celebrities and their possible plastic surgery procedures. If any of that sounds interesting to you, then please subscribe. I know a lot of you out there are watching this video, but you're not subscribers yet. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the interesting content I have coming up for you guys. Now, whenever I speculate on celebrities' possible plastic surgeries, remember, it's always just my opinion only and never based on fact. I have no actual proof or evidence that the celebrity has had that plastic or cosmetic surgery procedure, so keep that in mind. Never use these celebrity analysis videos as a way to send hate, expose, or shame a celebrity. There is nothing wrong with having plastic surgery. I've had my own plastic surgery and I have a whole playlist full of my own plastic surgery videos, so make sure to check that out. This channel takes the stance that plastic surgery is neither good or bad, it's completely neutral. Today we're going to add a second celebrity to our Almost Natural series. So this series started out because I made a video called Celebrities Who Haven't Had Plastic Surgery and I noticed that there were some celebrities that I looked at that almost made the list of being natural. You all wanted to know which celebrities almost made the list of not having plastic surgery. So today we're going to talk about Zendaya. Zendaya is a beautiful and talented actress. I personally thought she was 100% natural when I first looked at her. But as I looked a little bit deeper into her many photographs, I did notice a couple of changes that I thought would make her ineligible for the celebrities who haven't had plastic surgery list. But do keep in mind that the reason that Zendaya is almost natural, even though she's had some procedures that some would consider to be major plastic surgery, is even with these procedures, they still were all on the subtle side. The changes made were very subtle and she still really looks like her original self. We do have a sponsor for today's video. I'd like to welcome back Skillshare to the channel. Now you guys really loved and supported Skillshare when I had them on before. For those of you who haven't tried Skillshare yet, it's an online learning community with thousands of premium classes that you can take. And believe it or not, I'm currently taking a class on how to create my own Skillshare class. But if you're not looking to teach, then I recommend any class taught by YouTuber Ali Ab doll. He has many popular classes on Skillshare, but the one that I really like right now is called Starting a Side Hustle. He teaches you how to figure out what side hustle to start, how to get motivated, and how to find the time in your day to do it. Ali is so great at taking complex topics and breaking them down into simple, actionable steps that you could take immediately. Whether you're looking to gain skills for a possible new career or just looking to have a little bit of creative fun, Skillshare has the classes that you need. With how diverse the classes are, there's really something in there for everyone. The videos are ad-free and Skillshare is constantly launching new premium topics. It's less than $10 a month, so that's really great for what they give you. Now the fun part, the first thousand people to click my link down below in the description box will get a free one month trial of Skillshare's premium membership. Literally one month free to try out all these amazing classes. Just click the link down below. I so appreciate you supporting my sponsors. That helps so much more than you know. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and a bigger thank you to all of you. Zendaya Coleman was born September 1st, 1996 in Oakland, California to her mother, Claire, and father, Kazembe Coleman. Zendaya was born into a large family with two older brothers and three older sisters. Now, Zendaya grew up singing and dancing and starred as a kids' bop kid and in many other Disney television productions. Zendaya's feature film was in Spider-Man Homecoming, which was said to make $117 million in its opening weekend. Zendaya also appeared in the Bruno Mars video for the song Versace on the Floor. More recently, Zendaya is starring in the hit show Euphoria, which is a show about a group of high school students as they navigate love 
and friendships in a world of social media, according to HBO's website. Let's look at Zendaya's natural beauty traits. I love her deep set eyes, beautiful wide smile, and petite heart-shaped face. Let's look at Zendaya here. The first procedure Zendaya may have had were Invisalign braces to her teeth. In 2010, she had a more narrow smile with some crowding to her teeth. But by 2014, we see a straighter smile that is also much wider in the buccal corridor area than in her before. If you look closely, you can see where she still has her Invisalign attachments on her teeth. Her straighter smile is beautiful and is much more functionally healthy than before. I want to address something that may be a question in the comments. You may have noticed that Zendaya's upper eyelids have changed slightly as she's gotten older. It looks like she's gone from a hooded upper eyelid to having more of an upper eyelid reveal. Now, after speaking with my blepharoplasty doctor and showing him her before and after photos, his assertion was that this change was likely natural. And after I looked through more of her photos, I decided that the change was so subtle and gradual that I agree, I think the change to her upper eyelids is natural. The next feature that may have been changed on Zendaya is her nose. If you look at her here, her nose cartilages appear to have been shaved down and the tip of her nose is more refined. Overall, she still has the width to the front view of her nose. Her upper lateral cartilages and her tip cartilages have just been shaved smaller. They've retained the shape of Zendaya's nose, which really lends to her nose looking almost exactly the same, just a bit more refined. You guys should remember that even if you see contour on a celebrity's nose, that doesn't necessarily mean they've never had a rhinoplasty. I've seen contour done on all noses, whether they're surgically enhanced or natural. Because the changes are moderately subtle, for years, people have attributed this change to contour, but it's pretty clear it's not only contour. When you look at this before photo and then several years after, after all of the swelling has gone down, it's pretty clear that her nose does look smaller. The last difference I see is a reduction in Zendaya's buccal fat, which you can best see in this three quarters point of view. Now, please consider that this could also be due to extreme weight loss, but I will tell you that even with extreme weight loss, a lot of people's buccal fat does not go away. There's many people who try to maintain a lower body weight, hoping that it'll affect their buccal fat and they lose all this weight and to their dismay, their face is still full. So it is possible that Zendaya's weight loss removed some of her buccal fat. I think that it may have been a partial buccal fat removal. When buccal fat removal is done, they can either remove a partial amount of the buccal fat pad or all of the buccal fat pad. Now in recent years, there's more partial buccal fat removal being done, probably because of people complaining about side effects of looking too gaunt and drawn as they get older. So I think surgeons are opting to leave some of the buccal fat in. If you look at her here, do you notice that even though she didn't have large cheeks to begin with, we see a more pronounced cheekbone in the after. This pronouncement of the cheekbone is because the fat below the cheekbone has been removed, whether surgically or non-surgically. Now we see a cheekbone that we hadn't seen before. It also gives her a little bit more of a sculpted model-esque look. Hopefully this loss of buccal fat will also age well. If you have great bone structure underneath your buccal fat or facial fat like Zendaya does, Generally, as you age and you lose the facial fat, beautiful, strong bone structure will show through. And I think that's what we're going to see with Zendaya as she gets older. There's been a lot of speculation about Zendaya possibly having body plastic surgery. 
Personally, I don't see much indication for her having had any body plastic surgery done. People talk about her having possible breast enhancement. When I look at Zendaya, I see a natural slope to her chest, so I really don't see that. But there may be new techniques that I'm not yet aware of for filling the breast tissue envelope without an implant. So that I'm researching still. Barring all new techniques, I don't think that she's had any kind of implant into her chest area. Let's add up Zendaya's possible plastic surgery procedures. Invisalign braces, 10,000. Rhinoplasty, 20,000. Buckle fat removal, 5,000. Total cost, $35,000. I think Zendaya is a great example of the perfection that the entertainment industry tends to demand. And the changes that were made were so subtle. You can tell the changes were made to further perfect her. I can't imagine how damaging this is to a young person when they're already feeling self-conscious and insecure in their teenage years. I also can't imagine how she must have felt when it was brought up to her. I don't think that Zendaya would have made any of these changes personally, so I don't think they were her idea. What do you guys think about these subtle perfecting surgeries? Are they in a sense worse than the obvious plastic surgery or are they better because they're not so obvious? Let me know in the comments below. Coming up next is my celebrity plastic surgery playlist or go watch the first video in my Almost Natural series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>